This demo will show a simple if-else example. So I would like to make MATLAB ask me for two numbers and then based on uh, again user's choice, so what, what uh, I tell MATLAB to do uh, it should calculate a sum uh, uh, difference, the multiplication or division of those two numbers. And since I want MATLAB to give me the choice of what the numbers are and which operation is done and I want it to execute only that chosen one so I will be using input function in here. So first of all the numbers. I will call them A and B and I want MATLAB to ask me for the numbers. Uh, so function input was working so that uh, you simply give the text you want to see uh, when it's asking you for the input. So I'm saying give the first number, then for B, again input, give the second number, and then I also want it to ask me which operation I should do. So, for instance, I can do it like this. I'll use O for option. What to calculate? And let's say you can enforce the users uh, for specific options, so not that somebody will type uh, addition or something like that. You can, for instance, say like this, choose one addition to subtraction multiplication and for division okay so now let's let's run those and and see what happens so when I run MATLAB throws me into command window and in this case, uh, I give the first number, second number, and then it asks what to calculate, choose one addition, two subtraction, three multiplication, four division. So, and then it's waiting for me for the choice. And for instance, I will say one. So now it doesn't do anything else, but uh, at least it took in the three things I, I have given it and we can see the values here. All right, um, let's maybe make a new line also here so that it looks nicer. Okay, and now I want it to actually execute what I asked it or what it asks me and I tell it to do. So it's a simple if else, if else thing. If, uh, <coughs> our output was given as 1 by the user. I want MATLAB to calculate my result as A plus B because that was the choice. Else if option is 2 then we have subtraction. Else if it's 3 we have multiplication. If it's 4 its division and now I also want to point that maybe somebody has has entered yet something else then I'll just display sorry this option doesn't exist
and now I end my if. I also display the results. Yes. All right, so let's run it once again. Let's say I give four and eight and I choose division. So my result is one half. So here really when somebody presses something else, but there, there is a there is one trick in here because this something else only refers to actually numeric values. If somebody presses anything else from the keyboard, like a letter, then MATLAB will give you an error because it will think you are actually talking about a variable called by the letter you press from uh, the keyboard. So the way to avoid it is actually to enforce MATLAB to take in whatever input the user has given to treat it as a string and we do it like this after our text which we display and after a comma we give a, another option which says that whatever the user presses even if it's a number MATLAB will treat it as a string and that also means that now when we do our comparisons, uh, I'll maybe first run this and show you what, what that actually means. So again, number, number, and I'll choose maybe eight. So you see here this option is actually a character uh, which contains character eight. So now it means that I'm when I'm doing my uh, comparisons in here, I have to treat those numbers I suggested as strings actually. But that prevents prevents uh, MATLAB from crashing if somebody really en en enters an, uh, a letter for instance. So if I now press S for whatever reason, uh, undefined variable results, oh yes. Uh, so th this error came from for another reason if somebody really enters something that cannot work It means result variable is not created in here so uh, That's why MATLAB gives this error that undefined functional variable because here I'm trying to display result which in this case in the else case it actually doesn't doesn't exist so I could, for instance, have this display uh, of the results placed within my if condition so that I know this displaying will happen only if the result variable actually is created. And then we display something else when just plain text if it's not there.